quick question. What uh, what type of car are you working on? <laughs> <laughs> Today it's a little bit of a different start. Just going to have a little bit of discussion about the car again. Hopefully, uh, I'm not going to go over or reiterate what I've been on about before. Um, I don't know if I've shown you yet or I've neglected to mention. I can't remember to be honest. Um, we got these. These are the um, so the seat supports, and uh, oh, I can put them nice and straight, no dents. Um, the old ones, they didn't have any um, rust in them of any consequence, but they're just too dented up, and I just didn't like them. So, nah, they're not there, so we'll put a couple of new ones in. And, uh, I got both of them, plus the seatbelt support, got that too. And um, probably the reason I'm doing this one is more than anything, is because I need to replace the inner sill liner or whatever you want to call it to seal back. That must have go by a hundred names. And I think I generally call it the seal back. And um, yeah, so that's that. I just wanted to talk about that quickly. The other thing I want to talk about was just stand by, gonna lift this thing up. Oh, you gotta love a rotisserie. Now, Bumblebee's been doing a good job for us. And um, we're going to, oh, I don't know if you can see this. Can you see? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, perfect. Close enough, anyway. You don't, you don't have to see that bit there. Yeah, there, it's all backwards. Um, backwards here too. Thought I'd try and replace this today, or not replace it, but get it ready for a new one because the seal's coming out. There's no way I'm going to unpick the seal from around the door jam and along here, the whole seal. It's just, it's in perfect condition. And um, so the outer seal is probably going to get replaced. And the inner seal, like the door jam, part of the seal is going to be left, and I'm just going to weld the new one on and make it a straight and neat and new again and um, you know with these cars the more you can keep them original the better they are like it doesn't matter how hard you try you replace something and it's very difficult to make it as new or as original and um, so if it doesn't need replacing just sometimes try and work around it and, uh, rather than just go for it like a a bull at a gate. So yeah. Cheers. Anyway, I've got this in, wind aside, and um, yeah, it fits pretty good. It um, oh, it's I hard to think. That would be like that. And, um, Well, up nicely. I might roll the car up and show you the inside. Oh, that works pretty well. Don't you love a rotisserie? And, um, that would be that bit there. Ready for, that's actually pretty well ready for welding. I've just got to rust convert and treat and, and uh, weld through primer. I guess weld the holes get put in there, weld through them. And that'll be beautiful. If you look at the seal, it's just like, well, it's like new. I sandblasted it and put a decent coat of paint on it. Good afternoon. Um, hurt my back, so it's a little bit difficult to work at the moment. I've had a couple of days off, which means everything's going to be a bit late. But uh, other than that, <clears throat> I can't stand sitting around anymore, so I'll set this up on a nice uh, straight so I don't have to bend over too much and I thought I'd do the uh, repeat of what I did on the other side so this is the section between the door and the rear uh, wheel well or the front of the wheel tub and sorry about the wind it's always seems to be windy here at the moment and uh, it's cool Replacement panel section here. 
probably can't see. And um, I'm just trying to match the flare. It doesn't come with that, that curve in it. So what I'm going to do, excuse me for wobbling around. This is bad photography. And um, I'm just using the stretching tool and I'm gonna just stretch it here, just a little bit here. And that should bring this section out a bit. Okay, the final update for this section until it's welded. Um, it's in, it's massaged, you can't probably see very well, but it's massaged in. That bit was yeah, tricky, but fine. And, um, I've got a couple of little bits to take care of before this gets welded in. And same with the uh, the um, wheel tub. The wheel tub needs a little bit, every, you always do. I could replace the wheel tub, I wanted to, but the freight was so much, I, I thought, blow it, I'll just fix it. And um, so that's about it. So yeah, I'm really pleased about that. It's another one done. Just keep knocking them off. Okay, now, just a quick update. I've got uh, these parts, which I may or may not have already showed you, I can't remember. But I thought it's time to start fitting them. And um, I've had a saw back and I haven't been able to do diddly squat. It's been just driving me nuts. So anyway, I'll show you the progress. And at the same time, I've got the GoPro up here doing time lapse. Oh, just took one then. You'll probably get to see this if you've pulled on it. So I'm going to do that and I'm also thinking I'm going to cut this seal off. I cut the seal off, now the outer seal I should say, there's the inner seal, here's the replacement inner seal. And um, if you look at this, you'll actually see that, oh, I can't see, I'm going, there it is. You look at this, it's actually still shiny from original, this genuine original um, um, Ford metal there. It's shiny like, yeah, no such thing as a bit of primer or anything when they did the cars, is it? I think the idea was Ford was to get them to rust out and be thrown away as quick as possible so you'd buy a new car, which is meh probably worked actually, they probably sold a lot of extra cars that way. Nevertheless, I got my new uh, inner sill liner as well and it's it's like two mil and this is like about 1.15 1 so it's actually quite a lot thicker. And, um, but I think I'll mostly unpick it and replace it and uh, I could repair it, so just the top up and cut, cut cut a section off this and then do it that way but that'd be nice to do the whole thing and I've only got to pick out the floor pan mostly along here on the inside and um, this here is bent so I'll probably replace that too. Good afternoon I am standing inside a rotated car I'm going to be standing back uh, the back part of the, the side of the seal so I can find the rivets and rivet them out um, I'll give you, a, give you a look now, hang on So, all the seal here, just going to sand this back so I can see where that's riveted and I'm going to drill out the rivets and get the side of the seal off um, I'm sure what you'll call that plate Still very windy It's a bit of a boring job this one. That's why I got him doing it. We'll get there. Whether this works or not, it's a bit of an experiment. Gonna try and take the inner seal out without taking the um, all of the the outer seal off. Anyway. After many an hour, slowly but slowly getting there. Getting the big guns out now. Uh, 
Oh, it's going to be so good having a new one in here. Get under there and drill out the rest of those pot rivets. Yeah, these ones. That. Yeah, let me pass you all the tools. Ah, oh, thank you. Seal is off, and now whether I'd ever do it this way again, and the answer is yes. It wasn't too bad to do, really. And um, and what's really beautiful is this this part here is perfectly still in the same position as it should be, and um, which means all my doors and everything will just line up again. It's always a drag doing that sort of stuff. And uh, on top of that, I've got plenty of access here to repair all the floor and bits and pieces so um, I'm really pleased I'm really pleased about this, doing it this way and uh, I've tested it the uh, new inner cell just slides in perfectly in that in fact it's a remarkably good fit and um, so yeah I can't wait okay a quick chat coffee a quick chat about why I'm doing so much time lapse and not very much filming and talking or just filming as work goes on and that's simply because it's been blowing and you know 30 knot wind around here and um, 35 knots even and it's you can't film in that wind it just ruins the audio so until I get some better audio equipment that's how it's going to be so um, that's really all I wanted to say, just so that you can, you get that and um, we don't have to worry about, well, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, I've gone to the, gone to the f dogs. And, uh, Christ, the f coffee's good, no, f me. And, uh, bet you're not going to put this f***ing in, eh? Oh, by the way, I think it's Peter Brox and Mark Scaife. I think, I think that's what it's. Was so if I remember, it was one year you went to Bathurst, had lots of cookies that year, and they killed me.